I think we all heard about dopamine detox, change your life in a week, reset your brain, all that. But what if I told you that a true dopamine detox is literally impossible and that the whole trend kind of got a little out of hand? In this video, I'm going to break down what dopamine really is and how it affects your emotion, your focus and your habits. We will also talk about the dopamine detox trend and why it's not what you think it is and what to do otherwise instead to actually break bad habits and feel better with the help of dopamine. Let's start straight with answering the question what even is dopamine? So dopamine is a neurotransmitter and a hormone that is naturally produced by your brain. We literally need dopamine because our brain uses dopamine as a messenger to send signals throughout our body that allows it to function. And as a neurotransmitter dopamine is involved in things like movement, memory, pleasurable reward or motivation, behavior and cognition, attention, sleep and arousal, mood and learning. So looking now and also since that I said you see that there's a lot of very important things in your life that dopamine is looking for. So dopamine is per se not something bad. So now to the part where you probably already heard about is that dopamine kind of is like the feel-good hormone. The dopamine gives you the kind of pleasure and you get the motivation to do something because you know afterwards I'm going to get that pleasure from dopamine. It's kind of a part of our reward system so that if you do something you get an award, a good feeling, the pleasureness afterwards. This system is designed also for far far back in time where we had to look for our basic needs like sleep, food and drink and if you would do that your brain would reward you and be like ah oh, yes you look now that you have food I reward you because you were looking at yourself so you can even survive so it was just kind of to look that you survive. <laughs> and now because of the pleasureness we seek out behaviors that bring us that dopamine because dopamine brings us the pleasure. So basically it's all kind of like a circle together. You do something that releases dopamine, you feel the pleasure and then you want to do it again because you want to feel the pleasure again. So for example you eat junk food that releases dopamine, you feel the pleasure and then afterwards you want to eat again and that is like starting a cycle that is why all of the bad habits just follow and follow on because you get that pleasure and your body wants that pleasure your body wants that dopamine how does dopamine affect our actual life if you have a right balance of dopamine you feel happy motivated and focused but if you have a low dopamine level you probably feel tired unhappy and unmotivated this can be followed from things like mood swings sleep problems memory loss and concentration problems so having a low dopamine level is not good since it also can lead to adhd and parkinson's disease now if you have a high dopamine level you probably feel euphoric or energized. But unfortunately, not only that, because it also leads to trouble sleeping good, having poor impulse control and being aggressive, as well as followed from things like obesity and addictions. Makes sense, right? <laughs> A good amount of dopamine helps you with your long-term motivation and to be creative. So exactly what we're looking for. So now that we kind of understand what it means to have a high dopamine level and a low dopamine level and what is all around that and what even is dopamine, we can look at the dopamine detox trend. So basically dopamine detox trend were like truly a hype probably four years ago I would say but they're still around and they're still very popular and I still see a lot of that and I think everyone already kind of knows about it but I'm still gonna quickly explain what the kind of like intention behind is. So basically the detox is here to kind of reset your brain, make your life more enjoyable and also break addictions. And with doing that you stop craving this pleasure that you get from dopamine so you kind of can like exit the never-ending circle of dopamine hits and like once you again to get the pleasure kind of in that direction but the idea is based on a misunderstanding and is not recommended let's break it down so basically it's humanly impossible to have a detox from dopamine you cannot have zero amounts of dopamine in your body dr albans explains we need dopamine in every system in our body to move to sleep to experience pleasure so it's a critical component that we can't and don't want to get rid of. Also, we talked about it before, having a low dopamine level is actually also not good because it also causes you a lot of bad things. Lowering your dopamine is not really 
what you want to do. So basically what people think that dopamine detox does is that because you're overstimulated from social media, junk food, television, everything that's around nowadays, you kind of like get tolerance to your pleasure and you don't feel it as much anymore because you're always overstimulated. So how this would work is that they stop doing these activities that make you overstimulated. With that, they lower their dopamine and then reset their brains for more pleasurable, simple things. The reality is though that dopamine I mean, does rise when you have a reward or pleasure but it doesn't decrease when you don't do them so in that way it doesn't bring anything if you avoid them because you always need dopamine and you will always have dopamine short say a fast or a dopamine detox doesn't lower your dopamine level but to find out what's truly behind it let's look at the person who brought this trend to life and that is the psychologist Cameron Seppa he posted something on LinkedIn but it wasn't really about lowering your dopamine it was about a help to break problematic and impulsive behaviors. So for example, emotional eating, social media, gaming, junk food, all of that. It was about reducing the reliance of instant gratification as an antidote from the overstimulation that we have nowadays not to detox your dopamine so that we can feel less reliant on those stimuli to feel happy. That sounds already far more into the direction that makes sense and that is also kind of what the whole dopamine trend should be about. And this whole thing and this new trend is not new because it has been around for a very long time. Dopamine detox is really just a form of psychological training and the proper term to use is cognitive behavioral therapy or short CBT. CBT helps you to manage your behaviors and your emotion to build self-control. It's about facing discomfort without escaping into quick pleasures. Sounds familiar, right? Because the quick hit from dopamine, you don't get them. So it focuses on breaking bad habits so you can actually take the time to listen to your thoughts and your emotion and to really be in a moment. So be honest, we all know that you don't have to reset your dopamine, you just have to break your bad habits. Because what is all of these dopamine detox about? Stop using social media, stop eating junk food, stop watching television every evening, stop eating sweets. Yeah, what are all these all? Just bad habits. There we have it. So what we actually want to achieve with a dopamine detox is to stop doing the bad habits and replace them with better ones. So for example, stop using social media and instead start reading a book. Now what we also hear a lot of times is that there's real dopamine and there's fake dopamine. And that's probably not the right way to say it, but I do kind of think it has something. So for example, real dopamine comes from meaningful achievements, deep focus, exercise, and social connections. It gives you like the long-term motivation and satisfaction versus the fake dopamine, which gives you an instant reward that fades quickly. So for example, if you eat junk food, in that one moment that you eat it, it's the best thing ever. You feel so good. But afterwards, it can fast go that you just feel tired and kind of gross and not motivated to do anything. So the spike of your dopamine is already down. And in that fake dopamine are a lot of the bad things, for example, social media, junk food, and I already said everything. So I think you know. It's all of the things that spike your dopamine very fast, but then also crashes very fast and just leaving you feeling kind of empty. Now, of course, you can do these fake dopamine things, but I think just the balance is very, very important there. And if your brain can choose between the easy and the hard dopamine, it will go for the easy one because our brain is lazy. We are just lazy in general. So it's not really our fault. It's not really our fault in the end. But the thing is that all of the industries are built to spike our dopamine so we would do it over and over again. For example, social media, it's so good. Like you open it, you get instant dopamine hits and you want to do it again and again and again because they are so trained to actually hit that spot that makes your dopamine go up. And that's why it's truly kind of unfair how this works and how the fake dopamine is just so much easier to get because you literally just have to swipe on your phone. But the real dopamine, you actually have to work towards something. You have to do something, you have to use your brain and that our brain doesn't really like because it likes to chill. 
So it's more about finding a balance between all of the good and the bad habits that give you dopamine. So instead of focusing on dopamine detox, you should more focus on things like manage your behaviors and your emotions so you can build self-control, to not distract yourself from your own life, to facing discomfort without escaping into these quick pleasure hits, and focusing on breaking these bad habits, and you will not break a bad habit in one week. I can tell you that. With that, you can actually change your behaviors and understand yourself and not just following a trend that you saw in one video about. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.